Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. Welcome back to the Toy Review. Mm -hmm. And today we're looking at from Diamond Select, our first ever look at Mini Mates on this channel. I know, I'm, I'm really excited and this is a line that I've been very excited about since I first learned about it. Yeah, so Mini Mates is really known for a lot of their comic book stuff, especially all oh. the Marvel stuff. They've done other movies as well. They've done other franchises because they have Muppets, yep. um, Nightmare Before Christmas, um, some alien stuff. Some al oh my god, some of their alien stuff is really Ghostbusters. cool. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters and... A bunch of other stuff. Yeah, including today's, which is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing oh, that. I see, see, she no, 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 I know what you're up to. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah. Anyway. Battle guys. I think that counts. Mm. Well, maybe not. I don't think he's fluent in that language. Here's hoping. So yeah, we have, uh, I guess this is the entire set, actually. This is the entire line. Uh, it's just six figures. As you can see, the packaging, unfortunately, came off a little bit on that. In this entire line, it's only six figures, as you can see. We have Adam and, and Barbara Ma um, Maitland, you know, our favorite couple who dies. Yep. Basically, we see the entire world, the, the entire movie through their eyes. And it's cool because they have their regular head and their creepy, crazy monster face, which yep. I love. It's so iconic. We have two different Beetlejuices. One is him in his tuxedo, and the other is him normal and also Funhouse. You can switch yeah. into Funhouse. We also have Otho and Lydia Dietz, because you can't have Beetlejuice without Lydia Dietz. And uh, so in terms of likenesses, I guess we'll see how good they are. But it's mini-mates, so they're very stylized. Yeah. Uh, in a different way, like, you know, we looked at a lot of Titans, for example, with their... Mm. So this is not like Titans. This is no. much more... You know, I almost want to say it's in the it's hardly in the vein of Funko Pops because Mini Mates predate them by quite many years. Yeah. But there is like the simplification and the same kind of like uniform look of how they do their faces across the board. It's True. very Mini Mates. It is, yeah. I mean, it kind of reminds me almost like a little bit of like a mini figs in their shaping, you know, like in the body types and everything. But sort of like, yeah, I feel like they kind of led the. I mean, you have little head in their mini feet. And the minifigures, they've been around for forever. But then you have something like Mini Mates come along, then you have Funko come in and try and. I don't know, take inspiration from them. I don't know, it's just interesting because there, there's kind of a similarity to the style, I guess, of how they're capturing the figures, yeah. how, they're, how they're doing the characters. Yeah, but I, I really dig it because um, they have a very distinct style, so when you see them, it doesn't even matter what franchise they're from, when you see them, you know this is a mini-mate, and it's kind of awesome. Yeah, Diamond has really... Mini Mates have been around for 15 years, apparently, which oh, is God. amazing. Oh, God, is it 15 years? No, yeah. actually, like 16. 16, that's right. These are from 20... Yeah, yeah this, this is from last year. So there's six, 16 years of Mini Mates. There's a whole lot of them. We have to look at more of them. We really but, I do have a nice little collection that yeah. we can play with. So maybe we'll start. I mean, I have. I remember buying them back when they first began the series, in fact. So oh, I actually have so old, old ones. Wow. Yeah. Okay, should, yeah, we should totally bring those out just to do a blast from the past. Yeah. But for now, let's take a look at Beetlejuice and get started. So, okay, so we're going to move these. Put this guy over here. So uh, okay. one of them is a Toys R Us exclusive, which yes. is that one. Yep. Okay, so. Um, we'll come to that one later, I We'll guess. come to this one later, but the packaging and the packaging's a little funky. Sorry about that, but I'm excited about this. So right. Otho and Tuxedo Beetlejuice. So who do you want? You want to? Uh... I want Lydia, because Lydia's the bomb. All right, so I've got Adam and Beetlejuice. There's your closer look at them on this camera, but you guys already saw them, so I'm just going to go ahead and tear yeah. them open. And I have Lydia and Barbara. Yeah, you can see them, sort of. So many mates have come in a variety of different packaging over the years. Like, well, I remember when they first came out, they were only in boxes. Yeah. Now they only do boxes for the multi-packs, typically, and, and most of the uh, other two packs like this are blister packs. Yeah, and you various know, shape and size. I'm okay with that. I am very okay with that. So there you go. So what's cool is that there's no little twisties or anything. They're just sitting in there nice and easy. And, oh, and whoa, 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 wait a minute. Oh no, these are the Vinny mates. Yeah. Okay, for a second I was about to get really upset about not having this because check out one of the ones that you could have gotten. You could have gotten Cowboy. Yeah. Cowboy Beetlejuice over here. And also the other ones, um, Barbara and Adam actually have the cool fingers. They, that's more just, they, they have the crazy fingers. That's much more distinct, which is really cool. Well, they have that here too, actually. They do have the hands? Yeah. Well, mine has, so oh, yours does too. Oh, awesome. Okay, so let me look at... So yeah, when Mini Mates first came out too, another cool thing about them that they did was that they had lots of little accessories. Um, okay. Just but, you know, this is Lydia and um, Barbara. You know what you were saying? At a first glance, these are way more accessory filled than I expected. And another cool thing, which well, we'll, we'll get to that, I guess, too, oh. but as we go on, but... Um, let me show you guys my figures first. Well, yeah, mine are not accessory filled, really. Oh, okay. Mine just are Lydia and Barbara's head and their stance. So here is Adam. 
If they'll stay. These are usually pretty solid, so they should stay. And then there's Beetlejuice. Oh. Look how cool this little pinstripe outfit is. It's such an iconic Tim Burton look. Um, well, I mean, look at the packaging. I mean, that. Oh, yeah, no, the packaging is. How it's, fantastic is that? They captured that perfectly. I mean, you see this, you know, that's something that I've really appreciated. Um, about what Minnie Mates has been doing, especially in the latter few years, for the franchises that aren't necessarily Marvel or or whatever, um, you know, the ones where they have like a gazillion of them, their packaging is just so cool. So let's talk about articulation now. That's one of the big things with Minnie Mates. I remember was that they had amazing articulation for little minifigures. So let's use Beetle yeah. just as the example here. So he has a head that moves, and he's got ball joints in the shoulders, elbow articulation. Uh, it's going to be a little hard for you guys to see because it's small figures, but uh, we have wrist articulation. Ooh. It's, again, that's going to be really hard for you to see at home, but yeah, trust us in that. There's wrist articulation. For Beetlejuice, well, okay, he still he does have waist articulation. It's a little hindered because of his suit jacket. Uh, so I'm going to actually switch to Adam to show you the legs. So yeah, they've got really well articulated legs. He can bend at the knees, the ankles rotate. So this is a lot of articulation oh, for a small yeah. figure. And yeah, you're, in fact, you're already playing with it, so I'm going to bring it up now, I guess. But um, back when I first bought Mini Mates, yeah, just pose them like this. Apparently now in 2018, they finally come with stands. That's, That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah, see? We agree. We agree. That is really great, because, you know, sometimes you get a guy with a loose leg or something, and oh, these just go right in super easy. Like, I'll show you guys oh how easy God, that one yeah, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is just... This is... Oh, wow. This, uh, this I'm is loving like Perfect this. size. It really only fits Mini Mates, but that's fine. Uh, wow, that's so great to have. I love it when toys come with stands. Some some just really need it. So I'll tell you what, why don't I show everybody um, Barbara and um, Lydia while you yeah, do a costume switch. I've got a bunch of accessories here, which we'll get to in a second. Accessories yeah, you, and different stuff. You guys so. do a costume change and I'll show you the ladies. Starting with Barbara, which is, again, she has all the cool articulation. Just got to be a little careful. Certain parts are a little stiffer than others. She's got this nice little head. I mean, it's Jean Davis. I love the pattern on her dress. I mean, it is the pattern. It's really cool. But the fact that they got that much detail in such a small figure. I mean, if you want to take a quick look. Wow. That's yeah. totally that's totally her. Yeah. Oh, and look how easy she comes apart. They all come apart really easy. Yeah, it's kind of... Oh! But for, <laughs> for better or for worse, they come apart fairly easily. Oops-a-doodle. I, I was trying to take her head off. I accidentally took her, her clothes off. Oh, cool. But check it out. <laughs> her head just comes right off. Yeah. So we'll do a very, very quick change on her. Well, I'll put her change aside for a moment. Yeah, I was going to let you... I didn't realize, I didn't realize it was going to come out that quick that quick and easy. I'll show you guys how... That, so here's the head joint. Mm -hmm. And head's just... Yeah, one of the great things about Mini Mates is, I mean, you can mix and match everything. There we go. There you go. That's, that's on. Okay, so hands. real quickly, here is Lydia. I mean, she her joints are a little bit looser. Uh, or actually, they're really loose. But that's okay. Um... I mean, she's in her black dress. She's got the necklace. She has no accessories, she though, has, sadly. I know. Well, she didn't really come with anything. I would have loved to have had maybe the veil. The hat with the veil. Or her camera. Or, or her camera, yeah. That, that or the been. Book of the Dead. Nah, well, the Book of the Dead really should have come with um with Barbara. Yeah. That, that would have been a little bit more appropriate. I don't, I don't know if it's with any, I don't think it's with any of the characters. No, 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 it's not. Uh, so that's kind uh, of a missed opportunity. Even with Otho, it would have been oh, Yeah, 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 anybody. Oh, uh, you know, he, but we'll talk about Otho in a minute because he does come something. Oh, it is cool, though, because you can see she does sort of have a little bit of a something on her head. Yeah. But I, I would have loved to have seen maybe an interchangeable wig with um the veil. Yeah. That would have been cool. <laughs> or if they really wanted to do something kind of crazy. And it's okay, I know why they didn't do it, but... How cool would it have been to have seen a quick costume change for into her um, animated series? Uh, how cool the the red you yeah, know capey yeah, thing. I, I know the red thing. How how cool the red poncho? How cool would that have been? Yeah, bizarre poncho. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. put our married couple together. So here we go. They are as now their scary ghost form. <laughs> I know. I love. Well, do you call There's them There's large ghost Marge form? and. Uh, <laughs> no. Large Marge is too scary for this channel. So yeah, so he comes with another set of hands which have the eyeballs and the fingers. I remember? Oh god, that was like the best thing. And it's, it was it's, like his elongated nose. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. And that, that's, you know, practical effects were so much, you know, like really, they make, they last forever. Yeah. If they're done well, like they were done in Beelgers, there's a reason why this stuff's iconic. These look really, really fun. These are really cool looking. That's so great. I love all the detail in them. We'll show them back oh, too. Yeah. Okay, the backs are plain still, but I mean, the tops of their heads are also kind of funny. Yeah, I know. The tops are so great. I mean, she's just so square. Yeah. But that's part of the Mini Maid style. Oh, there is one thing I do want to point out because I didn't really notice it. I thought it might have been a little paint smudge. But um, if you look at Barbara's head, she actually has a space in the hair for her earrings. Oh, wow. So check it out. 
Yeah. Um, I can't get her hat. Out. <laughs> yeah, never mind. But you have to just take my word for. It. Oh, here we go. Yeah. See, in the in the wig. Wow. <laughs> in in the wig, this is where her earrings are, and I just I love that. I love that little detail. But but now I think it's time we make way for um the man himself. It's showtime. <laughs> Yeah. So there's Beetlejuice. Oh my god, that is the, oh that is so cool. In his alternate outfit, I guess that he comes with. So he comes with a removable hairpiece, which you can put this helmet on, and the two hammer hands, which have the extendable arm too. It's just like it's so burton. It's it's really perfect. Ah! I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> yeah, and again, likenesses are really good for something that's not really detailed. I, it really I just captures who they are, which is so great. That that's the that you know, in some ways that's kind of the best because that's the truth is for movies, for figures, for, for comics, for whatever, any of this sort of stuff. Unless it's a very specific kind of look, say in the case of these, you know, you, you want stuff that captures the essence of the character and not necessarily the person who portrayed the character. So this is just kind of perfect, yeah, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final two pack of this line. I'll get Lydia in here. Actually, you know what? If, if, instead of her poncho, um, because of the next one, I think this would have been better for. It would have been better if Lydia maybe came with her wedding dress. Yeah. Because you got Beetlejuice here, all ready to go. <laughs> and luckily, this is already half open because that's yep, just how it, it came. just it just fell apart. So what's cool about this is well, which is also a little weird to be honest. There is one accessory, which is Otho's head. Mm. Uh, it's a, Otho has two heads. I don't know why, Meh. but... Oh, one's yelling, one's playing. But yeah, Otho kind of looks more like, like Ray Liotta to me than he does... Uh, I'm not gonna lie. The gentleman who acted, that's whose name I cannot remember. Oh, gosh, yeah. You know what I kind of wish? I, I, I would have rather, instead of an extra head, I would have brought like an accessory such as an art, one of um, the mom's crazy art pieces. Oh, that would have been fun. Yeah, that would have been an accessory. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think as well, um, something, I, I, so this one's interesting to me, like, Lego has this, and they do it. I, I don't know if they can easily do it as well, but I guess they can, because the hair does come off, so that's where usually the ears are. Definitely. Like, Lego puts faces on the back of the heads. Mm -hmm. That would be a good way to kind of just, like, make things easier for themselves when possible. It probably would, because... Just put just... the put another face in the back of the head, and then just spin it around. Yeah, I mean, unless somehow Lego has the copyright on that. I doubt there's... Or the patent, I or whatever. I doubt there's a patent for that, but... And yeah. you never know. Um, it's just, we'll just show you the other head, too. It's just really kind of cool. But yeah, unfortunately, Otho's kind of a boring figure compared to the rest. I know! That, that's why I'm a little surprised. I mean, the I outfit is so plain. I, I can't remember the mom's name, but, um, gosh, she was so good. Yeah. And, and it was the mom from, uh, from it was Catherine O'Hara, yeah. you know, and she's just freaking amazing. Good yeah. I've never seen her in anything bad. So that's Otho. Oh, Nothing those... really to say about Otho. Yeah, I mean, he's, <laughs> he's cool, and his name's Otho, which is probably part of why he got put in. But I really would have preferred it if they'd done the mom because she was just such a character. Yeah. And then... Prom Night Beetlejuice. It's, exactly. It yeah. is Tuxedo Beetlejuice. How cool is that? I wonder how many times we have said the word Beetlejuice. Uh, Not enough to summon him in a row, I guess. Yeah, uh, and it's cool because you can see how this his tuxedo vest sort of comes off. See my vest, see my vest. <laughs> Made from real dead people's chests. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so this is just, again, it's the patented trademark Beetlejuice face, you know? It's got the little grimy thing on the side. I, I do love that touch. It's disgusting, but I love that they yeah. made sure to ha have that in. See, he's the original Rick and Morty Rick. <laughs> he really is. There's not much to say. I mean, the detail work is just so cool. And then there's poor Lydia, who's all like... I have to marry this fool. It's kind of funny because like the line is so strong with our ghostly characters, and then you have our two humans, Otho and Lydia, mm -hmm. and they're just unfortunately really kind of boring compared to everybody else here because we kind of got spoiled with the rest of this, this line. This the, oh god yeah like really this I like the mini made sets as they are as they are you know these are small collectibles you can play with them and have fun but not gonna lie I would have loved a play set to see a play set of the house. How yeah. amazing would that have been for this one? Yeah, you know, uh, many mates. I don't really think they do a lot of play sets. They, they don't. do some vehicles sometimes. I know they did yeah. an Enterprise. They did something for uh, aliens, but yeah, not no, a lot they, of vehicles. No, they don't play. They, I know they don't do a lot of play sets. I would have loved. Th this would have been a very unique, because the house is so unique. Yeah, this would have been a really cool kind of thing. But eh, 
it is what it is. It's just, seriously, these are cool. I don't, I don't know what else to say about it other than this really captures the feeling, the vibe of the movie, of the characters. The humans are not nowhere near as cool as, um, you know, the ghosts, but... Beetlejuice is pretty great, so that's yeah, all I have. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, it's Beetlejuice. What do you expect? Of course they're going to be better. Yeah. And, and Gina Davis's head flutes. And she's like, I'm Gina Davis's that's head. That's the most ghostly thing she did in the whole movie. Uh, well, uh, this pretty much counts. Yeah. So these are the Beetlejuice Mini Mates by Diamond Select. All six of them together, yeah. and they're really cool. Even the humans who are kind of bland compared to these awesome yeah. figures. But overall, <laughs> great line. Definitely rec if, easy if, to complete. Easy to complete. You see it in stores, get it. I mean, yes, it's a little older, but get it if you can. If you can find it, get it. Yeah, it's anything a, a Beetlejuice fan should have. Yep. So there you go. I I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. And that's Beetlejuice. 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 By Diamond Select. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> see you guys next time.